Thank you for stopping by. This is Truth Goddess to Rose 777. Hello. Today's read will be for Sag. Just for Sagittarius. Okay, Sag. The cards have been shuffled, prayed, and also meditated. Over. Please like, comment, and share the videos. Now let's begin. The bottom of the deck, my personal deck, is showing someone that was indecisive. Somebody that was indecisive really created a lot of drama for themselves. Somebody not sure of the decision that they made, but the decision they made created drama in their life. So you have somebody who was indecisive who caused drama to enter into their life. Now, this may be you, but I asked for the overall energy for you. So this is someone else's energy and it take the energies as they apply to you Sag you are someone that's in the queen of pentacles energy somebody that's focused on their business on their money um queen of pentacles is a a boss a businesswoman somebody that has created her own her own business she's this entrepreneur a married this person could be married as a queen of pentacles you have your own money you're creating your own um your own business the queen of pentacles is a solid business woman who gives out good advice who shares who teaches who's a great supporter when it comes to helping and healing people so you're focused on your money and your family that's the energy you're also in. Spirit is saying, expect a powerful change. This powerful change will have a lot to do with both your business and your money. They are advising that you have faith in your dreams when it comes to your business, your money, and things that you have already accomplished and things that you are about to accomplish. They're saying, have faith in that dream. It's not over yet. Because they're saying it's time to release the negativity. So release things that release doubt that may creep up in your mind when it comes to acquiring a business. Some of you guys may not have started a business, but you are an entrepreneur. You're self-employed, you're driven, you're focused. And this is why they're telling you to be bold and make the first move. So... Because you're this businesswoman or man, but it's a woman on the car, so we're going to go with that. This is your energy. So you're focused on your money, your business, a new job, an opportunity. A lot of you guys may have gotten a promotion if you work for someone. If not, you have your own business. And you're focused on your business and a happy family, a union. That's where your mind and your heart is at. Now... Let's see, it coincides with somebody that has a high profile connection. This is what you're going to acquire. If you haven't already, this is the journey that you're on, Sag, which is going to be your great fortune. You are the fortune. Having a family and a solid business that will be high profile. Now... This will happen in the form of a lover, somebody that you may know in your community or somebody that had a third party or someone who was in a third party connection with a lover who wanted to acquire great fortune. This person, because your energy is in the upright and solid when it comes to your family life and your work life. This is about someone concerned with a connection in which they were involved with someone and it says main female that was after their fortune and fame. They were acquiring a status connection with someone, a lover, that was in a third party. The community card is 
um, someone that that may live in your community, somebody you may know. But this person, this is why they were, that's why there was so much drama because of the indecisiveness with this person. The indecisiveness came about because this is a person that does not have any morals. They don't have any standards. They don't have any morals. This person kind of just goes according to what feels good to them. Says this person is a person that has random sex partners. Now, this person is in their thoughts about this woman that they had a connection with. This person may have married this person. This person is a Scorpio. So it was about sex, secret, a secret affair with someone that they were obsessed with, with the Capricorn energy. This is also about business. So they had a, hmm, this person could have had a real estate business, but the Scorpio card is also someone who acquired other people's money and property. So this person is thinking about how this main female was able to acquire their money, their property, their business with the fact that this person that they knew had no morals as well. But this was a hidden motive of this person. This is why the person you know, they're concerned because all along, this female had a hidden motive. She, she doesn't have any morals. They do things for status, for great fortune, um, to be seen a certain way. They met at a club. This is the jealousy card in reverse. So this person tried to make you jealous, but now they're in the energy in which they're feeling like a victim because now they're hospitalized. They're sick, they're ill, they're suffering some sort of illness, some sort of condition because they were with someone that had random sex partners. This is why they're concerned. They basically rolled the dice when they connected with someone that they either met at the club, somebody who who fails, who somebody that is jealous. It came in reverse. But I don't feel you guys feel like a victim and the fact that you're not jealous. But this person is dealing with a physical illness because of their lifestyle. These cards continue to hit the floor. And Scorpio also deals with secret sex affairs. So this is line, lining up properly. And the fact that this was a Capricorn. So this is something this person that you know was obsessed with having secret love affairs, sex affairs with multiple people. Um that they met at, at a club. This is what this person did. I feel like this person had the nerve to marry somebody they met at a club and now they're in despair. So they met somebody or they had a connection with a, a woman who they felt would change their life, but she changed their life in which now they have no money. This person lost money. They feel like shit. Because they thought that this person, somehow they, when it comes to fortune, she made a fortune off of this person. So this person thought this trick, because she sleeps with random sex, par sex partners, would make them feel like, or give them the illusion that they were, or that he or she was somebody that they needed to be seen with. This is really crazy because you are a chosen one. So this person felt that a person that is a Scorpio, a Capricorn that has sex, sexual partners that they meet at their club, maybe she works at a club and she is a performer, a dancer. She, she has her own obsessions and her own problems in which this person 
connected with this individual because she doesn't have any morals and ne neither does the person that you know. This person, she stole a lot of money, a great fortune from this person. But the judication and traveling is here and on the journey. So it seems, up oh, here it is, bad health. So when it came to a legal situation, this person traveled to see these this woman and they took trips, long distance trips. Like this person could have traveled out of town to see this person. This person, when it came to adjudication, this is something that is now involving the legal system. Maybe they are being sued. This person may be suing this person because they were infected by uh, a health scare. So they have gotten, they're sick because of their connection to these people, to this woman. And this is why they're concerned. So they paid out money, believing that they would somehow become wealthy and have a status connected to this person. But this is something you're going to learn about. Again, they thought this person was their gift. Hmm. There's a wealthy man that's high profile also that would like to send you a message of concern. Hmm. A wealthy man that's looking to say something to you. Wow, with sudden wealth about a mature man. Uh, this is interesting because it, it's all about this person contracting some sort of disease as well. So this person paid or in exchange for sex, they obviously are feeling the burn. This person is dealing with a serious health problem in which they're bid written so it's like they want to sue this person who they traveled to see who was a thief so basically this person this female did a double whammy on this person that you know this is their karma this is why they're concerned they it seemed like they were paying out money they may have even married this person this person is this mature man who got hustled some kind of way this person got bamboozled by this person a main man here we go again so this person that you knew is concerned with them losing a lot of money when they took the opportunity to build wealth with someone that frequents clubs or possibly works at a club so, okay, so this lover that they know, it seems like she is someone that spreads herself thin when it comes to three third-party connections. Again, she sounds like a call girl. This is a person who is a high-profile call girl, or she assumes that she she's that, but she's a high-profile call, call girl who this person used to have on their arm, this main man, with this female. So they end up con contracting some kind of condition in which now they're possibly in jail because they're worried. There's something about a child. Okay, it sounds like there's a issue when it comes to this person may have believed that she had a child for this person. Maybe this person believe that the child that this person had was something that this person may have been paying some sort of support and if they found out that the child wasn't theirs it's something around the along those lines where this person it's like they are now awakened to the secrets that this lady had yeah this is the, what they're talking about this is what they or they're stalking this person, or this person is stalking them. Yeah, because they're about to lose their home, and now they're burdened, they're stressed out, and they're regretful. Yeah. 
this is something that okay so people are talking about this person losing their home which is weighing this person down because they're sick they're unhappy they refuse to this is their karma the judgment card is in reverse because they were in love and then they it's like they never learned their lesson. It's like they returned back to somebody after healing and then they accepted this love offer from this this person. Yeah, this third party. Yep, that's what it was. This person returned back to a thief. So she, they learned that this person stole from them. Again, it was some sort of bamboozle. This person got scammed off. For believing that they thought that they were happy and complete with this third party so they party with this woman as 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 the time continued to move on they they had to let go of the juggling and invest in this lover so the entire time they were they had to let go of the juggling and then invest in this lover so okay so they had to make a choice remember they were indecisive so they made a choice to go with the lover believing that this would bring their this would be their happiness so they chose this person who now they regret it this is why they're in a nine of source energy they thought they could have a bright future with this person they didn't do their soul searching they didn't do their homework this is a person who just kind of trusted this individual. And yeah, and she was in a nine of pentacles in reverse. So she was single with no money. This is a person that feared that they would lose this person that they had traveled and invested time with. So they took a shot and they realized that this was their karma. They are seeing that them holding back from you giving to prostitutes or whoever they slept with and left you behind was really a power move that caused them to now have to release their obsessions with this person that they had a secret affair with all along. Yeah, they had to let go. See, they may have, there was never any love. This person never loved this person. It's like, she gaslit this person, took all their money. Yeah, she can find this person with lies. Yeah, this person was with the trick, with the Queen of Wands in reverse. They returned back to somebody who they should have left in the past. And I feel like they married this person. This is why they were indecisive. They were up in the air about building a legacy with you as a chosen one and they end up losing their blessing which was you because they refused you and they wanted to work with this other individual who they had no solid progress they didn't succeed in what they were planning to do with this person and this person um abused their authority Basically, they got used. They abused their authority when they lied and they advised to you that they were healed and they, they were trustworthy, they were honest, they were sincere. Now they're scattered because they gave their love for somebody who was always putting them in competition. So the same thing like it's like this person just lost their way that's the truth they lost their way now they want to run back and return to you okay said we're out of here this person is it's definitely a person who wanted to build a life with someone else that they met at a club and see that person lied to them they never revealed the truth this is the thing that is keeping them up at night because they didn't do their research when they traveled and invested time with someone that had multiple sex partners who they never, who betrayed them. This person betrayed them, hurt them, um, physically 
hurt this person in which now they're dealing with a long-term illness, medical condition, something like that. And, they, and she was broke. So this person invested time and money with this woman who sleeps around, you know, this is a business for this person. This was her secret way of making money. And this person thought that she was a queen of pentacles, a real businesswoman or man who could provide a family for them. They really thought that, but all along she is somebody that's an opportunist, a scammer, somebody that doesn't have any kind of, um, her intuition is blocked. She doesn't have any skills. She can be somebody that really moves on really quick and lies to different people. She juggles. But the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is someone that's um, unkept. She's unkept. She's kind of dirty, messy, sloppy. She doesn't have a home. Like she puts on a front like everything is fine. And she makes people feel like that they are her complete happiness. Like she, she plays it up really well. So she watched this person and then she stole from this person. Now this, this person was never working. Whatever she does, this, this person thought she was a star. This person thought she had a flourishing business on the internet. That's also what I see. They thought, oh, she's popular. She's, you know, she or she is doing really well, but all along she milked that person for their money and lied, which she had this person invest in her business her fake business that was really not a real business. She used this person and conned this person. Maybe she had some sort of online business in which it was all a hidden motive to scam this person. So this person got scammed on so many levels. But Sads, we're going to close. That is the read. It just sounds like the universe is basically telling you that your life is flourishing and that your blessings and what you've done, you were always an upstanding um, businessman or woman. They connected with somebody that pretended that they had a business. Whoever this person is, the queen of pentacles in reverse, never has never had been married before. You, as the queen of pentacles, you were married a mother, you ran a successful home life, a successful business. You created um, continuity and happiness with your ha home life. This is a single woman who's never been married before ever. She gets lovers and then she sleeps around with the ones possibly in the community in which this person lives in. So she does a lot of secret things behind the scenes with in which this person they found out about how this person was really a liar and how they scammed them they really scammed them but this person was all in love with this individual they were in love with someone and they refused to move on they refused to let this person go so it tells me they stayed in third party connections and they learned that this person was in a third party connection. And this, this is the lifestyle that she lives, but they continue to hold on to believe that they could spend time with this person. I feel like this person thought they could change this woman by coming a different way with this person. Cause obviously the page of cuffs is somebody that has an immature, unstable, emotionally this is an unstable person an, an adult that's immaturely unstable when it comes to their emotions so this person is lost in the past with the illusion of thinking that them possibly marrying this person would change the the whole the trick ways no you can't so now they're in court with this person all right so that's the read overall your life is stable because you're in the upright 
you're happy, you have a new family, you will be, you're happy with your home life, I should say. This person lives in the streets. She lives in the streets. She goes from house to house, causing, she's a karmic. That's what this person does. Because look, she didn't have a home. She didn't have a business. She doesn't. And whatever business or home that she has is something that's fake that she talks about that she she tells people that she can, you know, change their life and make their life happy when the whole time she parades around um like she's a solid businesswoman or man. Um, and now this person wants to reveal the truth about this lover who they felt would make, make them happy. Um, I feel like that person told that person that same stuff. This queen of pentacles, I mean the nine of pentacles, she told that person this and they believe it. So they, she said, okay, we can collaborate. I mean, you can invest in my business. This person has been through this cycle with this person a lot of times. And it's like they never learned their lesson. So this is why they're concerned or thinking about how much money they put into this person. And it sounds like they didn't give to you because the Six of Pentacles was in reverse. You didn't need this person's money at all. You didn't. So that's the read says this person didn't invest in someone like you who was stable and a true business individual, business-minded individual. They invested in somebody that their intuition is blocked they never had a business and it, it's like a fraud like it seems like she set up some sort of fake accounts to look like she had a real legitimate business when all the time this person was working at clubs and dropping it like it's hot now this person wants to feel like a victim because the person they were with it seems like she was watching you too, watching and talking and trying to compete with you. You're not jealous, but she is. So this person is in competition with you. The person that they were dealing with is in comp competition with you because it seems this person was watching you because the store car came out. So this person has been watching you, talking about you, and this person possibly may have caught or saw this person watching you online and this is why this person was jealous and insecure but they're they're in despair that they changed their life for somebody that was always poor and never had anything and they gave this person a lot of money they got scammed but that's what they get i mean hey Again, this person may have been watching you if you're a reader or a spiritualist or somebody that deals with the spiritual world. This is somebody who they're trying to interrogate and investigate. Yeah, they're watching you. They're obsessed with the Saturn card because they see that you're happy. You're, all your wishes are coming, um, coming. All your wishes have come to fruition. You're somebody that's popular. They see you. Yeah, and whoever this person is, yeah, they, so it's like a copycat. Yep, so that's the recess. We're going to be out of here. Let's get the final word from your angels. Closing out, what is the final words that Sash needs to know? So there's a, dop there's somebody, a doppelganger that's watching you that this person was with who was studying you. So this person got caught watching you online, your pictures, your photos, or whatever business you have. I told you, yin, yin and yang. You are the balanced one. So this is what this person realizes that they can't stop watching and stop talking about you. They can't. Whoever this person is, a man, a man holding a heart. And then we have victorious. So you're going to be victorious. You're going to have true balance with someone who you will have a, a balanced connection with. As this person will have to continue to watch and stalk you. So they've been watching. 
it's like this person has been comparing you to that other person. Because, again, you came out in the upright. This person sold them a dream. This person sees the real deal when they see you on social media. They know that you're the real boss. So, your angels are protecting you because you will be having a true caring connection that will be protected by Archangel. Who's this angel? Oh, Gabriel. Yep. You're going to be protected. You're going to have a caring connection, a real true caring Karen connection that will be victorious and it will be someone that is watching you they you will have their heart and they will have your heart you guys will be a balanced couple all right so that's the read Sagittarius again thank you for stopping by bye, bye.